Hi, welcome to part two of setting up the ESS and MB3 combination. Now it's normally about here at the beginning of my videos. I normally give you a brief outline of what I'm going to do during the video. But one thing I need to stress, the one thing I'm not doing in this video is showing you how to wire your machine up. It's an overview of how I went about and decided how I was going to connect everything from my machine here to the MB3 board and then setting up the ESS and Mac 4 to run all this lot in just a few simple steps. So this is what it looked like inside my case before I decided to change to the MB3 board. I've got an external PWM to analog. I've got a breakout board from the ESS port three. I've also then got another breakout board which was running up to a DIN4 servo drive which I was using for my spindle. So I had to rip all of this out and start again with the MB3 but I'm so glad I done it because this is what my case looks like now. Well I don't know about you but I'm I'm pretty impressed I'm happy with that. So let's have a look at the steps that I went through to be able to set it up nice and neat and tidy like this. So the first step I took was to go around the whole machine and list down everything that was an input and an output like the lights, the pump for spindle, two, e-stop, step and direction for all the drives, the enables for the drives, alarm for the drives, until I had a complete list of all inputs and outputs. So my complete list was my X, Y, Z and A axis, my limits and home switches, spindle one and two, MPG lights, probes and the e-stop. Now everything in blue is outputs, red is inputs and green are outputs that require a relay. For the next step you'll need to go across to the CNC room website and download the MB3 Mon Moners, <laughs> the M MB3 Owners Manual. Who's a Moner? Now, once we've got this downloaded inside the manual, you'll find a pa page that looks like this, which is the MB3 layout. So I've printed out the diagram from the manual and I've taken my inputs and outputs from the list that I previously made. I've had a bit of a shuffle about different ideas and this is what I've come up with. I'm happy with it so this is how I'm going to go and wire up the machine. <laughs> so that's the machine all wired up. But something we're going to do to make it easier for ourselves before we go into the ESS config is if you have a look in the owner's manual, you'll see a table like this. Now this, this table is already set up for the MB3 profile that's already pre-configured for you, which I'll show you later on in the video. Now all these numbers down the side, XS, XD, YS and YD, they actually correspond with the pin numbers that are on the board, XS, XD, YS and YD, and of course all the inputs and outputs as well. So to make things a little bit easier, 
I've created a small um, spreadsheet. This is done with Google Sheets. I will upload this um, to the forums so anybody else can use it. So everything that you've wired up, if you have a look at the pin name that you've wired it to, they tally up with all of these on this sheet. So mine actually transferred across from wiring it up came out and looks like this now this this isn't just a reference you'll actually see how helpful this is now for setting up the config within the ESS config within Mac 4 so here we are in Mac 4 I'm going to assume that you've got your Mac 4 all loaded and installed and the plugin for the ESS Smooth Stepper. If you haven't installed your Smooth Stepper yet, there's some great advice over on the Warp 9 site. There is just so much information on this page here. Um, it's the getting, like I say, it's the getting started page and everything you'll need to know about the Smooth Stepper for getting it up and running is all, all on that page there. So from Mac 4, now I haven't actually got an ESS connected to this machine, but I can still get into the config to show you how now to config your ESS config to run with your MB3. Now, if we go into the ESS config, one thing that will happen is this configuration screen will always be on top. Now, if we go back to the sheet that we made earlier, this is, we, we transferred all these across from the board how we wired it up, but this is actually a duplicate here of our config that we're now gonna set up in here. Now, if we go across from tab to tab, general, don't really need to change anything in there because if your ESS is already set up, then your IP address is all the same. Um, I never had to change the plug-in frequency or the buffer size. Motors, we're using step and direction. One thing I will enable is the anti-clunk, although I'm using hybrid stepos. Stepos? What's a stepo? Hybrid steppers. That does make a difference during homing on my machine. Now the spindle, we're going to be using PWM. And the base frequency, which is written down here on the sheet, is 260 hertz. So we don't need laser pins config if you notice here on the first screen we've got a port 2 pins 2 to 9 direction and we've got a port 3 pins 2 to 9 direction now they can be either inputs or outputs now to set them up with the mb3 as is written at the top here port 2 needs to be inputs which it is and port 3 needs to be outputs so we'll just change them over next is all we need to do is copy everything that we've put into port 1 um, from pin 1 to pin 17 and transfer that across to here now on our sheet that we created port 1 pin 1 is our spindle to enable so that's already named or given an alias to that pin itself now I'm going to go across I'm not going to do this while you watch me I should go across and transfer the whole lot of this into the ESS config and then I'll bring you back so that's all our pin names transferred across to the ESS config so let's go across now and let's map some input signals now on our sheet all our inputs are in red 
So our x minus limit stroke home will be this one here. So we can give that a limit and home. And of course it is, apart from just being a home, it is our motor zero minus limit. And next one down, x plus limit, which is motor zero. We can assign that to that one. So that's the X done. Do exactly the same with the Y. And then we can do exactly the same again with our Z limit. Now that's our Z plus and home. So don't get it mistaked and put it down here. So that's going to be this one up there. So that's all our inputs from port 1 already put onto here. So let's do exactly the same with port 2 and there are some on port 3 and then I'll bring you back again. So that's the other two ports added and we've added our e-stop our MPG, our two probes and our spindle index. So let's now hop on to our output signals. So with outputs we're going to map them exactly the same as we did with the inputs but apart from we're going to read all the blue ones off of our sheet. So we, we would just fill them in x step x directory why do I call it directory? Direction. And then we've got our Y and our Z. So that's all our outputs assigned, which next one we've got are the green ones, which is our three relays on the board. And these become, what do we got? SP1 enable, SP1 forward. So we're on a spindle. So we've got our spindle on, which is our SP1 enable. Our spindle forward, which is SP1 forward. And we're going to need SP2, which is going to become an output zero. So that's all our relays put on there, which only leaves us our 0 to 10 signal for our spindle which is our PWM here which is our 0 to 10 volts now that is exactly how I've set my machine up exactly how I've shown you in them few steps now that is the manual way of setting up the MB3 and the ESS now if you're just starting out and you're a little bit unsure, let's show you a little different way, which is an MB3 profile that's already set up for you. Now to use the ready-made profile for the MB3, if you go to the CNC Room Forum website, if you scroll down the page for the MB3, you'll come across this Mac 4 ESS plugin 232 and the MB3 profile. Now, if you download that file and then open up the archive or the uh, WinZip file that it downloads, you'll find it's got a plugins directory and a profiles directory. Now, I'm not going to show you how to install the ESS plugin because hopefully you've already done that. And I think 232, I think we're on 240 now, so you'll get an updated um, plugin. But let's do the profile. Now, from your Mac 4 installation directory, you've got a directory called Profiles. So if, if you drag or copy your MB3 from the zip file over into 
Mac 4 and then we'll start off Mac 4 and load the MB3 profile. And yes, as you can see, the ESS didn't give me a problem this time because I've actually plugged one in. Now, if we go to configure plugins and the ESS, now we've got a profile that's already set up. Everything is configured for you in here. <coughs> now, all these that have been inputted here or your inputs and your outputs is the board set on default now all of those pins tally up with um, what's in the manual and as you can see we've now got this same sort of spreadsheet sheep <laughs> spreadsheet that that I used for mine but this is the one for the default profile now if you're using that profile everything in this manual like um, setting up your drivers are using what's already set up in the profile um, your um, limit switches and everything are all set up and even the diagrams are using the pin numbers that are set up in them profiles even down to the MPG using the high speed inputs that is just the most simplest way of getting your machine up and running from scratch is just to connect everything how it shows you in this manual there is some extras down the bottom here that show you that's Mac 3 but if you go past that you'll actually get some how to set up your Mac 4 profile with your motors and things like that and like I say that is the easiest way of doing it from scratch but my machine was already configured in a different way coming from the MB2 so that's the whole reason why I've done it that way. Well, I hope this video has been of some use to somebody. And I'll see you in the next video.